Hello, welcome to Bulgaria. I'm here on a three day fishing trip with our Bulgarian distributor, Zakranka, and I'm fishing with Peter and one of his mates for three days. So we're here from today until Saturday. I arrived bright and early this morning at about 6 a.m., absolutely shattered, traveled through the night, flying and all that malarkey. Um, so I had a kip straight away. I had sort of three or four hours kip this morning. And then we got the rods out. It's very, very different to my normal style of fishing. This is proper holiday carp fishing, really comfortable in beautiful surroundings and no people. So I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy myself. We're staying in like these big sort of wooden huts almost, real luxury. They've got like a fire in there. You could stick your bed chair in there if the weather gets bad. Oh, it's absolutely superb and dead quiet. You know, there's no people, so you're not overcrowded. There's not people casting over you or anything like that. It's, it's fantastic. So we've got the rods out. As you'll see, we're fishing on like these sort of large pontoons. We're having to use pods. Um, and again, it's different to, to what I'm used to, so I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy it. We've put the rods out using bait boats, uh, we're fishing quite long range, uh, maybe sort of 170, 180 yards over to the far bank where there are no swims. So the fish obviously like it over there because it's nice and quiet. There's no weed in the lake at all. It's full of big carp. They go up to 70 pounds. So I'd absolutely love to latch into one of them. You never know. But yeah, Peter's rods are out. The other guy's rods are out and mine are now too. I've gone for a real stinky sort of tuna approach. It's very, very colored water here. So I'm going for smell as the main thing. I've got snow mounds on all three rods. One tip with a tuna tipper, uh, the other with a Northern Special, um, and the other with just a, a matching sort of food bait pop up on that. So beautiful weather. It's about 19, 20 degrees. So absolutely stunning. And I'm gonna enjoy these next three days, hopefully latch into something massive. So it's lunchtime now. I'll keep you updated. Well, I've just reeled one rod in because I've just seen some carp down the far end. So reel the others in. I'm gonna take one rod down there, just flick a PVA bag on top of it with Peter. We stood there for about two minutes, saw two fish crash straight out of the water. So I'm just gonna reel those rods in. I've got one rod out here that I'm gonna use as the actual fishing rod. We don't wanna overcrowd it. So we're gonna have one rod each go down there, lay them on the deck, and uh, you never know, we could snare one quickly. I think they're down in the shallower water today because of the nice warm weather. So um, yeah, we're fishing. We're gonna uh, go and have a little stalk up for a bit. Right, so we've moved now. And as you can see down there, both Peter and I are just plotted up on one of the jetties. Just flicked one rod out each, and another one's just boomed out over there. It sounded like a big fish as well. So, yeah, we're in position. Just need the carp to play ball now. First Bulgarian car. <laughs> Well, it's the afternoon of the first day and it's been hectic to say the least. So you might have seen a load of different shots from different swims because typical Englishman, uh, I've been here, there and everywhere and I've settled on this area for the last few hours. Uh, I had a walk early. I wasn't happy where we started. Um, Peter and the other guy set up early in the swims up the far end. And to be honest, I didn't feel like there was a lot of fish there. So. I went for a wander around the whole lake and looked at the shallow end and straight away we saw a couple of carp head and shoulder uh, and lo and behold there were quite a few fish here so uh, yeah typical like I would do in, uh, in the UK I ran back got all my rods and uh, brought them down here 
and I managed to catch a fish on each rod. Managed to catch three fish, which is a right result really. And uh, I feel like I'm going to get another one. I'm not going to come down here for the night time. It, they may only be small fish down here. The ones I've been seeing, you know, have been sort of twenties, um, and the bigger fish tend to come from the other end. But I'm going to give it sort of the days here, and then fish the nights up the other end where Peter and the guys think that the bigger fish are. So it's nice to get a bite. I've caught my first Bulgarian carp, which was a right result in beautiful weather, and I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. Each one of them were in mint condition, really, really good mouths, fins. It's just a fantastic holiday venue, really. So if you're looking for somewhere to, to sort of bring the family or some mates and you know have a good holiday with some good fishing, you're near the beach as well. Sunny Beach is only up the road as well, so uh, you can have a fantastic holiday. Catch some carp, go clubbing, go to the beach, do whatever you want, and have a really good holiday. And enjoy yourself, which is exactly what I'm doing, minus the sunny beach bit. <laughs> but the rods are back out now after having that flurry of action, all on the tuna, tipped with white tuna. And uh, I'm hopefully going to latch into one of the bigger ones. So next time you hear from me, hopefully it will be with another fish. from the outset. I arrived here at 6 a.m. this morning, had a little snooze to catch up on a bit of, uh, a bit of sleep from the nightmare traveling throughout the night. Um, woke up about nine o'clock, half past nine, just full of excitement really. I just wanted to get the rods out. So quickly got the rods out in this swim here next to Peter and his mate. Um, and within an hour, I, I thought to myself that they're not here. I just didn't feel like the carp were here. So decided to go and have a little scoot around, a little wander with Peter. And after about two minutes down in the shallows, we saw a few fish jump out. So that was my decision made. Peter decided actually to come up this way, but I reeled in all three rods, <coughs> <coughs> wandered down to the shallows and had a pretty amazing day. It was seven carp, topped by one of 35 pounds, a glorious long common carp, a real powerful fish that fought like crazy. Um, so yeah, I've had a wonderful afternoon catching seven fish and to be honest, if I had it my way, I'd stay down there. Um, but I'm here to socialise with the boys as well, um, do a bit of work, talk about work. So I can't stay down there sort of hauling all night, although they think they'll move up here. But to be honest, I think they'll stay down there. But um, happy to fish up here anyway. Apparently this is where a lot of the big ones come from. So uh, I'm going to get the rods out now. Um, and in the morning, if it's nice and sunny again, which is supposed to be, I'll really not get myself straight back down to the shallows to uh, hopefully haul all day again. So yeah, that's uh, that's it. This is the scene at the moment. Tying up lots of rigs, been through loads of hooks today, crank size fours, just sort of standard knotless knots with a bit of tubing on, a little bit of silicon tubing, northern specials and tuna toppers on the top of Pacific tuna bottom baits doing the business, so yeah. Carnage. Well, good morning. Unfortunately, last night, no carp for me. I had a sturgeon at silly o'clock in the morning. Uh, must be about 18 pounds, something like that. So that woke me up. Um, but although I didn't catch anything, the other lad did Svet, one of Peter's mates who's fishing with us, has had an absolute whacker this morning. Um, he thinks it's over 50. So he's, uh, he's proved his theory right that the big fish uh, like to feed up this end at night time. Although the, the, uh, the action hasn't been frantic, He's had a whacker, so if we have a 50 pounder on our hands, that'd be rather nice. So for me, 
I'm going to head back down to the shallows when the, when the sun gets up. Looks like it's coming through shortly. It was a Baltic night last night, really, really cold. Um, and this morning is really misty. It's absolutely beautiful with the mist sort of rolling off the hills over there. It's a really, really moody morning and uh, looks like Svet's got an absolute whacker. So let's go and have a look. So I'm just going to tie up a few rigs for the day. I got absolutely hammered for tackle yesterday. Um, got through loads of hooks, loads of hook lengths. So I've uh, had a bit of a switch over. I was using um, Kamakura cranks yesterday in size four. Now those things are absolutely pin sharp. I mean pin sharp. <laughs> so after every fish they were blunting. Uh, to be honest, I didn't think I'd be getting so many bites. So I thought I'll use the Kamakuras so I can try and convert as many pickups into takes as possible, which is obviously what happened. But I'm just getting through so many, um, to be honest. I think a normal, uh, a normal style crank would do the job just as well um, and I wouldn't have to keep chopping and changing the hooks so I'm just swapping over to normal hooks today rather than the uh, the absolute pin sharp Kamakuras just so I can fish a little bit more efficiently and quickly really especially if I'm going to be getting loads of bites so I'm doing that now switching over um, I've kept things nice and simple just fishing snowman rigs but today I'm switching over to bigger baits as well. I'm going to fish 24 mils on the hair today with a um, little 14 mil Northern Special Plus sitting on the top. That's the plan. I'm fishing pretty beefy, size four hooks, um, sort of 25 pound or 20 pound even hook length. Uh, they're big fish in here. And there's also some sort of sunken branches and stuff as well, which I had to, uh, I had to get the fish through yesterday. So you got to fish Strong, um, so strong, effective tackle. Great bait, seems to be working. So I'm gonna tie up a couple more rigs, or three rigs, and uh, I'm gonna head back down to the shallows, see if I can catch some more. Well, I'm back in the same swim that I was yesterday. Moved once again, because I've seen a couple of fish down in this bay. I've brought two rods down, Peter's brought a rod down too. Um, and we're hopefully gonna have a good day like we had yesterday. Maybe a few bigger fish as well, that'd be, that'd be nice. Really shallow down this end, bright and sunny again. So there's no reason why the fish won't be here again. So we're gonna give it a few hours down here to see what happens and uh, see how it goes. Well, we're just getting into lunchtime now, and uh, safe to say that the action has been absolute mayhem this morning, just like where it left off yesterday. Uh, this morning I woke up, decided that um, after a, a pretty pants night's fishing, that a move was on the cards again. And I wasn't convinced that I was gonna catch up there anyway. I just went up there for a, a nice social, and um, yeah, just sort of first night, have a bit of grub with everybody and um, settle in, but all I had was a sturgeon, so we've moved down here this morning back into the shallows. It's scorching hot again, it must be 20, 21 degrees today. Lovely, lovely sunshine in Bulgaria, and Peter and I have decided to move down here, and uh, since moving I've had four, five fish, um, up to about 25, 26 pounds, so it's been pretty frantic. Peter's caught a few as well. Um, and so the move was well worth it. Although we hadn't any big ones yet, we're convinced there's some bigger ones down here because we keep seeing fish show and a few of them have been decent ones as well. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna try and wade through these small ones and, and hope that a big one comes along. I'm sure it will do. I think tonight, rather than uh, flogging a dead horse up there, 
where I just don't feel comfortable. Um, I think I'm going to move down here and um, keep trying to get bites and eventually I'm hoping that a, a big one will turn up. The guy's going to stay out there that caught the big one this morning. Um, he's had a couple of small ones and obviously that 51. Um, so his theory of the big fish uh, turning up up there at night for him worked. But I'm hemmed in in a corner up there. I'm not fishing the same water at all. He's sort of got um, a lot of the open water. And although he's not getting as many bites, he has had the big one, which you know he, he did say would happen. Um, but I'm just too hemmed in up there. I, I don't think I'm going to catch anything up there. Um, certainly not like the action I'm getting down here. So um, I'm happy. I'm getting bites uh, in beautiful weather. So however big they are, I'm enjoying myself. And uh, yeah, I'm going to keep wading through these little ones and just hope there could be... Uh, a 60 or a 70 could turn up because uh, there's some monster carp in here. It's an awesome lake, really is. Wonderful hospitality, beautiful weather, good company, and uh, I'm having a really good time in Bulgaria. Tactics wise today, <coughs> I have up the bait size, as I said earlier, I've gone to 24 mils. Um, they're boating out to uh, a spot on the far margin, and uh, I'm placing baits about five foot from there. Lots of fish showing, really tight. Um, it's a no, well, not a no fishing zone, but there are no swims over there, so the fish clearly like it on that far margin. Um, probably put about 50 baits over the top, uh, 18 millers and 24 millers, and uh, yeah, the tactics seem to be working at the moment, so got to keep going. I'm going to enjoy the sunshine, go and get a drink of water because I'm feeling pretty dehydrated, and uh, hopefully we'll get another bite or two. Well, I just went to get some water, I came back. Daniela has stolen one on my rod. <laughs> and Peter is in as well. It's crazy down this end today. Lots of carp. We're just hoping that a big one turns up soon. We're catching lots of small ones today. Hey. Well done, mate. Was that casting as well? Good man. Proper fishing. Right, so, complete change of plan. Uh, I've had a wonderful afternoon. I've actually managed the biggest fish of my trip so far, over 38 pounds. It was actually 38.8, which is the right result, an absolute breeze block of a common. Um, but I've decided to, uh, to move back to the original plot. We're gonna keep that as a daytime area and see if we can snare a stray big one up here tonight. <sighs> Not really what I wanna do, but uh, I'm here with other people, so. I've got to go with the flow. I'm going to fish up here tonight, give it a real good going. I've just um, I've just made up some really, really stinky offerings. Um, tuna, covered in tuna L030 and crayfish meal, so they proper stink. I'm going to put loads of bait in and just go for broke up here and see what happens, really. Then um, I'll be straight back down into the shallows in the morning for hopefully some more action. But as you'll see, I'm fishing baits behind me. Sorry if there's a bit of wind noise. Um, I've got one, you might see my finger towards that sort of bush there, is a nice hard spot. The other one I'm fishing up in this corner just here, and the other one's just off the point of this sort of mini island type thing here. I've seen a couple of fish showing here, so there are some fish up here tonight, and I'm literally going to wander across this wall, bait up, keep wandering. Oh, it'll focus back in a minute on that spot. Yeah, bait up here all by hand, and just sort of create a little trail up and down there. I didn't do that yesterday, I just used the boat. So, different tactic, see what happens. Some mad old noises <laughs> in Bulgaria. Well, good morning. It's bright and early here in Bulgaria. <coughs> and my plan of action last night to catch a couple worked. I put all that bait in last night um, in a bit of all or nothing approach. And uh, I had two bites at first light this morning. Um, they're both smaller fish. Uh, I say smaller, but for here they're probably 20 pounds. Um, we've actually resorted to, to almost slinging 20 pounders back because we're catching so many of them and we're just trying to get through to those bigger fish now. Um, 
So yeah, had a frantic morning. Uh, Peter in the night caught a really good one, um, around 20 kilos. So that's yeah, it's well over 40 pounds. Um, didn't get to see it as our Sparko, um, but we've got it on film, so I'll be able to show you that one. Um, and Svet also caught a couple this morning. Sorry, I'm out of breath because uh, I'm walking over to the spots now just to put a bit more grub in. Um, see if I can get some more bites here today. I'm going to give it a couple more hours because it's early in the morning, so it's bite time. Um, if I haven't had anything, then I'm going to go back down to that bay, see if I can snare a few where they were yesterday. But it seems to be a bit cooler today, so um, maybe they're on their way up here. See what happens. Well, it didn't take long for me to get itchy feet. Um, it's getting on to about 10 a.m. and uh, I think the morning sort of feeding spell seems to have dried up up here. So uh, once again, I'm on the move. I'm off to the shallows. The sun's just coming out. It's not quite as warm as it has been, but um, I'm convinced that they're down there. So as you can see, rods are out and I'm gonna be going down that way. So, See you in a bit. Well, just had a crazy spell of action where uh, I had three fish, a um, couple of small ones, and finally I've had one of the big girls, or one of the bigger girls at just over 40. Um, it's a lovely fish, real long powerhouse of a carp. Um, and, oh, one's just shown in the background. I don't know whether you saw that on the camera, but um, they're here again, the sun's got up. They've moved down here into the shallows and it's not just small fish, obviously, because I've just had a, a whacker. So um, by this lake standards, it's uh, yeah above average, <laughs> which is crazy to say um, in terms of big fish. Um, I'm just hoping one of those real big ones are lurking about, but uh, I'm not going to be greedy. I'm happy to have caught a big one. And uh, yeah, let's just hope for an even bigger one. So I've made a bit of a rig change today, as you can see there. Um, I've changed over to um, some stiffer um, boom material in 25 pounds um, to, a, to a simple Ronnie presentation with a, a wafter on. Um, I've actually learned that the bait size doesn't really matter. Um, even if I'm using like 24 millers, I'm still getting smaller ones. So um, I'm just wading through them really. Um, as you've seen uh, a minute ago, uh, I had a real nice one over 40 pounds that was on an 18 miller. So I think the, um, the point that big baits always catch big ones is a um, bit of a myth really um, but yeah I've moved over to uh, boom material and size 4 crank on a Ronnie rig um, reason being is I'm catching that many carp getting loads of bites that um, a coated braid was just getting knackered up really quickly um, not only that I've run out of PVA nuggets as well um, so I'm not confident dropping from a boat um, with the, uh, the coated braid I just think it's going to tangle or just sit wrong so I want that boom material to kick the hook link away Sorry, this is so raw, but kick it away like that because it's nice and stiff and obviously lay on the bottom nice and straight. Um, it seems to have worked. It's also a lot more robust than the um, than the coated braid. So uh, yeah, so far so good. Caught me that 40 pounder earlier, so um, rig tweak worked. Chuffed. <laughs> Duties. Peter has a good one. Oh wow, yes. Oh yes, chunky one. Go on. Big fish, Peter. Come on. That's a big fish. <laughs> Big, big fish in Peter's net. Huge fish. 45 plus. Easy, I would say. Maybe, uh, maybe bigger. That's <laughs> a huge common carp. Well, apologies if it's a little bit windy, um, but I'm down in the new area, uh, the new plot for tonight. I've been seeing fish here uh, all afternoon, so it seems stupid not to move on to them. So last night, 
and uh, I've seen Peter with that huge 52 pounder. Um, I want a piece of that action, so I'm going to give it my best shot. I've been on pest control really, I've got loads of carp, um, you know, the most by a mile, but I just haven't that sent to any of the real big ones. Um, so I'm going to give it a good go tonight. I've been seeing some good ones lump out, and uh, yeah, you never know, dear. Hopefully, one will come out. But um, just to give you a little look at the swim in front again, sorry about the wind noise. There's a few areas that I'm going to look at. Um, one sort of on the uh, on the point sort of area over there. Well, I'll have one in the middle and I'll have one over by these steps that I've been seeing show all afternoon. Um, I can go around there and lob some baiting as well. So that's the plan. I hope it works. Good morning. Uh, the last morning hasn't produced the uh, fairy tale end that uh, that I really wanted. Um, but I've got a few hours left. A few hours means I can move down to the shallows just for the uh, yeah last couple of hours before I have to leave. So uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to reel in, put on big baits, head down to the shallows, and see if we can winkle out one big fish before we leave. Fingers crossed. Well, we're getting into the last half an hour probably of the trip and Peter is into a fish. So let's go and take a look. This might be the last one of the trip. So let's take a look. Whoa, a big one just showed <laughs> right on my rods actually. <laughs> oh no, is it? it's got it I think. Fish has just gone under all of my rods. <laughs> Peter is now on my platform. Fish have actually just started crashing again. This could be a good fish, mate. I believe it. Let's hope so. We'll go get the Not net. quite as big as we thought. But a mirror. Yep. A bit different. Hey, in she goes. Wow. Well, this could be the last fish of the trip. And it's a very, very pretty one. One beautiful. Very beautiful. If you don't see us again, thank you, mate, for a wonderful trip. Yeah, you're welcome anytime. And I would love to come back and hopefully latch into one of the big girls. I hope you will come back. <laughs> Thanks, Peter. No, I'm always, almost sure that you will come back. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks, mate. Let's get her back. <laughs> 